But who else thinks that Adikas is very, very childish? Who else thinks that um he's a silly man? Who else thinks that um some of the things that he does, okay, with mercy, although I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to break this down into different pieces, okay? Although, because women can be very funny. Mercy, Aigbe might be the one booking the holiday herself and saying, oh yeah, Ogawa. A get dressed, let us go because they want to do, um, they want to do pepper them or they want to do cyber show off and the rest of it. But I personally think, personally, this is my own personal view and the way I see it, and this is my own opinion, and I'm not against their relationship, and I am not interested in their relationship. But going by what is going on online and what we are seeing online okay i think he's a little bit childish okay for example we have all had relationship before like for example my husband is not an internet person he doesn't even like all those you know posting things on social media and all of that whatever 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 but okay you are a muslim man okay and you have decided to um to take on you know another wife who happens to be mercy Aigbe. all right fine and according to your wife i saw a comment you know i saw one of her comment on um kiloruko blogger and you know, on linda kg okay i saw one of her comment on linda i saw one of her comment on linda kg so linda kg posted that um filmmaker kazim adeoti first wife marks 20 years anniversary last year Oaso kazim took mercy aigbe as his second wife and that's all i can see from that update the wife now made a comment she said linda ikeji official you know the blog notes i was not celebrating my 20 years wedding anniversary with kazim I only repost I only I only reposted a video created by Owambe underscore vibes to emphasize that ironically today would have been our 20 years wedding anniversary. Mind you, we are still legally married but separated. Thanks. So she's saying that she wasn't you know obviously celebrating their 20 years anniversary but you know she saw a post somewhere and they are still legally married but they are separated they are not like together so i i do not know whether i don't know the mind of this adikas of a man i don't know whether he wants to keep the first wife as the first wife and mercy Aibe as the second wife i don't know if that is the case but if that is the case the quran tells us that you should treat them equally so you need to be fair to um each and every single one of them whether you decide to take two three four five six wives now the problem i'm having here is we see the way you you know, Adikas and Mercy Aigbe, we see the way they're always flaunting and, you know, loving up and everything, which I don't have a problem with, okay? I don't have any problem with that. That is none of my business. But aren't you supposed to equalize it by, you know, doing it to the second wife as well, by celebrating her on Valentine's Day? I don't really know. the, the Their relationship is a little bit confusing. Why? Because it's like, is this you dating both of them? And they still both of them. She both of them. She wants she were together, or they are separated and they are no longer husband and wife, and everybody's gonna go their separate way. Or is it a case of you know we just gonna continue to show off and rub it off? And is he even looking after his children? 
you can go on expensive holiday you can spend thousands of pounds or whatever on um on you know whatever trip to whatever you know the Maldives and and all of that and that are your children enjoying all that benefit as well or is that woman the only one that is that is actually you know taking care of the kids alone without yourself somebody said bye bye who's that person who said bye bye what happened there Somebody said, according to Adikaz, he admits he's having two wives. Okay. That is according to him. So, if he, if, he, if he has admitted that he wants to have two wives, and he wants to keep both of them, why is one being deprived of everything that um, Messi Ahibi? Hmm? Hmm? Why is one being deprived of what the other is enjoying? Like, if you want to take mercy, if truly and truly and truly and truly, um, you know, both of them are your wife, and the Quran says if you treat them equally, why are you not taking the first wife on a very expensive holiday if truly you are the one that is paying for it? One thing that doesn't move me any longer when it comes to relationship on social media and the way they flaunt it, and all of it and the rest of it in Kokoteo can move me anymore is that the woman might be the one that is responsible for the payment of the holiday only the mercy I will lose on all day to offer the other woman um to offer she can to offer the law you and if this man decides that okay okay I will make the loan for my people I'm talking about Kazim and Dikini why to call it travel or see America, whether she's in America or one is in Nigeria, you can travel to America and say, okay, let me take you out on a very expensive date as well. Because the only thing we see is Kazim and Mercy. Kazim and Mercy. We are not seeing the other wife. The Islamic religion that you said you are following or that you are practicing. So please, don't just flaunt or um show us um mercy Aigbe alone we would want to see you display what we call maturity by flaunting and loving both of them equally so like for example i don't think you gave your first wife i don't think you gave her anything for valentine's day I doubt it very much that you sent anything to her. Whether even to say, okay, okay, she's your baby mama. You just want to appreciate her for being a baby mama. That is, and she's not your baby mama anyway. You are legally married. I don't think you are doing that. A mama flaunt your ribruku from our social media. Some of us don't appreciate it. Some of us don't like it. Why? Because we understand the fact that the very first wife, Ounu Manduro Toko, Toma Jojiya, Toma Jojiya, Wala, Toma Joshi, Toma Joshi, problem to one be at everything. Or more bring come, talk on she come because one fed daliru, one fed daliru. They will just turn up and you know when they turn up at the end of the day, you know ewa mashi cyber flaunting, um and flaunting kuda. Alone go shaking, alone go shaking, alone go fee or we'll see. So try to you know this is just an advice to you, Neil. Me, I don't have any problem with you people. Try to be a little bit mature, okay, by loving. And appreciating both of them equally in front of us, your social media in laws, okay, that are watching. Since you have decided that, you know, it's both of them you want to be dating. And please, can you show more love to and want to check with your children as well and not just uh, social media flaunting? Tori, Almost every day, like, imagine she photo shoots. Ah, the problem with you is see wala wala imagine you could come relationship with you. But you are working, you know. Emma, she can. Emma, try. Emma, appreciate. Check Emma, she. And again, social media. Our social media in law and the rest of us don't let us get carried away 
by whatever stuff they are posting mercy might be the one like i said that is paying for it she might be the one that says, oh do you know what baby i want us to go she won't cut facebook lori instagram ni came out believe her or polo po bearing loan for you could go ski boy they but what you want on post yet you want flaunt yet you want she emma oh wow this is so beautiful my fault Ole joko ni ye gong kolo shiki ni. Ole joko ni ye gong kolo shoye po ke ya. I want to take you on a romantic date you. Okpo lo kpo bini lo mfori koski bo. Igba te mato bo. Wipe. Actually, do you know what? I am the one that paid that old bill. The bill was on me. I am the one that did this. I am the one that did that. O di joko mato jow. So yi wo yi ya wo. Yi ya wo to wa ni nule. That is a. Kini kon kucho. What is a kucho? Eh, kini kon kucho abi kino kwe uru kwa nti ye, ni yon ba yon fwa kwa nsi. O le jia kwe wwa kwa mwa mwa. Ma ashe kini. Mwa 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 afi la lo ju. Ipe kini mwa tig bako lwa wwe mwa de ma ashe kini 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 mwa de kawo gan won ni gboko lowo yin loruko jesu gbogbo eyin ti won de ti gboko lowo yin eh asiwaju ku cho da si gbogbo eyin ton de ti gboko lowo yin boya ore lo gboko lowo eni o boya sister lo gboko lowo eni o boya bro ni boya egbon ni o well gbogbo awon ti won ti gba oko lowo won olohun ma se oko to ma tun se kini olohun ma se oko to ma tun da ju eleyi ton gba lo because just me let me tell you something no there is nothing like poke pe ye obirin kan wa o wa ja oko gba mo e lowo mo ma si phone ke call in there's this um thing i've been hearing about my lovely godmom and i love the game that um mama sabot i love the game she played there in fact i was extremely happy with it okay because sometimes you just have to give a task okay you have to give them something that you, you you can control their brain basically you can work there are some people on this facebook that their brain is easy to control you can sort of like you can turn it left you can turn it right if you want to wind them to the middle you can wind them to the middle why because they themselves they have no sense of direction they don't even know what they are doing with their own life so I love one thing that Mama did that she said something about God Mom and you know that Miss Grant the one in Woolwich is constantly talking about it. Mama Zabot is very smart. She's very intelligent. She knows what she's doing. Anything she says, you know, she says it sometimes just to work out their brain. It's like sometimes Mama will say that I am I'm a Buddhist or something. I can't remember. I'm a Buddhist lover. Is it this lover or I'm a Buddhist? You know, and they will all just jump out. And the cast is near me, but can you come? Do I have the time to be cutting and be cropping and stuff? I ain't got that time. But you know, I love the work of I'm a Buddhist lover. Any or whatever I'm a Bud, um, treasure or I'm a Bud, hot dish. And even sometimes I go there and I comment and I like and I love. Okay, so why would I have a page that is monetized and I will now open a page that has no monetization and I'll be posting on it. So I love what that person is doing and I love how that person is really, um, you know, playing most especially with Lizzie and Jeremy's brain. Why? Because Lizzie and Jeremy doesn't want nobody to talk about her at all. If you don't want people to talk about you at all, at all, at all, at all, you don't want them to mention anything that has to do with you, then don't step on people's toes. You know, do you have to reply everybody? Sometimes I'm always thinking to myself, what is wrong with that lady? As a public figure, okay, even me, me, I'm a public figure in the area of, you know, blogging and vlogging and all of that. You don't see me replying to every dick and Harry. You know, you you literally reply to almost like every single shit. Look at um mercy, whatever, mercy, yaibe, mercy, and all of that. You know, you don't see all those people, a public figure, somebody that is actually a celebrity, you will never ever see them replying to everything. Every when they pick on you, sometimes you need to overlook it. But anyway, who gives a shit about you because you've already turned yourself to a public nuisance, so I'm not even going to say anything about that because 
that you know that's yours is um um your own is um to one side so on the issue of god mom i love the game that mama played them with, you know i love what mama did there with them like um you know she said something about um Dockers doesn't like Godmother. Godmother doesn't even have anything to do with Dockers. And they are all just jumping out and constituting new sounds. They are all just jumping out. You know, but one day go along with it, follow the leader. So it be we bafeje ke dori ko ibeni ye we ma dori nisi. And I love it. Whatever Mama say is final. If you don't like it, problem ma ye ye.